better attempts to do so. But thank you very much. I call Kiri Tapu Allen. I understand this is a split call. You have five minutes. Uh, uh, I'm a ninth speaker, so I'm only going to reiterate what everybody else has said already. So I won't. I don't want to. I don't want to bore you too much. Uh, I'm sure I won't be bored. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure you won't be, uh, Madam Speaker, because I'm going to make it entertaining. No, right. Uh, look, I, I do want to acknowledge um, the remarks of uh, both the Minister uh, of Treaty Settlements, uh, Andrew Little, and uh, his, his former counterpart, the Honourable uh, Christopher Finlayson. This bill has had a long journey. Uh, it has lived its life through three different government administrations. And there's been many people that have passed uh, through the course of that period, most of whom have been um, acknowledged today, but I'd be remiss if I didn't also to acknowledge uh, the aspirations, the leadership uh, of that, of the boy from Tiki Tiki and the esteemed uh, rangatira, uh, Apirana Mahuika. And two, I, I, I cast back my memory to those times, 2004, um, I was a young fellow and had dreadlocks and was protesting outside too, I think, at that time. Uh, but I, I think of uh, the, the leadership of those two inside this house of your iwi o Ngāti Pūrau, uh, the Honourable Parikuru Hurumia, uh, the trials and tribulations uh, 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 that he endured in this house as a consequence of the seabed and foreshore and the many decisions post facto. So I, I too want to acknowledge um, uh, Parikura. Uh, 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 an esteemed leader for many of us in this house, but also uh, uh, for you all, uh, Ngāti Pūrau. Um, earlier this afternoon, uh, Hirawini mentioned that uh, the Oha Ki, or the, the last aspirations of uh, Apirana, was to see this bill uh, enter into this house and pass through. And after 15 or so years, uh, after 15 or so years, um, and many, many hui up and down that coast, uh, many debates that have been had, it's taken too long, uh, but this, this day has come. I, uh, I reflected on some of the comments just prior to the election um, from Apidana's son and uh, former colleague, Mata Nuku Mahuika, who led these uh, negotiations. And uh, one of the things that he mentioned was, I hope that in turn this doesn't become another political football post-election if the government changes. And I'm proud of the work of my colleagues on this side of the house uh, Ngāti Pūrau for your dedication and I guess your just ongo ongoing endurance through the many changes that, have you, that you have seen. Um, I'm glad that there has been little fuss in seeing this bill pass through under this changed administration. I also too want to acknowledge that um, I've always admired the way that Ngāti Pūrau have uh, been very instrumental in the way that uh, I, I see you operate Wellington. In fact, uh, it was about, I'm going to say it was about 10.30 p.m. on the evening of 23rd September 2017 that I got my first phone call, lobbying me up for my very first time as what will be a new MP of this house about this here bill. Don't you forget about this bill. And, uh, and so yeah, uh, yeah, your, your masterminds have always sort of preached back to my ear. I said, if we want to ever learn how to work Wellington and get things done, uh, let's take a leaf out of uh, uh, Ngāti Pūrau's books. 
But I, 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 the, the real, um, I guess there, there are many people that we can acknowledge, but I do want to just say that the, the, the most interesting thing for me uh, in this bill, Ngā Rohi Moano o Ngā Hapu o Ngā I apologise to the member. I'm it's sorry. Like, uh, those that are uh, on the ground of the Hapu who actually have to do the mahi. No reira, ke a koutou, a tēnā koutou. I call Pam, Pam Jeet Pama. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity to take this call uh, to support uh, this very important bill.